Hello boys and girls, Miss Nikki is here with you to teach you how to count down from 10. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way I want you to think about the number line. You normally may think of the number line as going on beginning with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I also want to point out, you could go backwards on the number line. So from 10 back to one or zero. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now point with me. Are you ready? Let's go backwards from 10 by ones. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's do it once more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Now let's talk about the second way. You could count down from ten going back on your fingers. You ready? So here is 10. And if you take away one, it's nine. And then another one, eight. Another one, seven. Another one, six. Take away one more, five. Take away another one, four. Take away another one, three. Take away another one, two. Take away another one, one, take away the last one, zero. This time, let's do that activity with the song. It's called 10 in the bed. Are you ready? And you may use the number line as we take away during this song. You'll see what I mean. When I say 10 and one, is is uh, rolled, rolled over and is gone, then you go from 10 to nine. Here's another example. And you're at nine and one rolls over and you're left with eight. Okay, so fingers or the number line. How many? Call it out. Or show me with your hands. Or point to the number line. There were nine in the bed and the little one said roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Nine, one falls out. How many? If you said eight, you're right. Here's nine, one falls out, eight. There were eight in the bed and the little one said roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Eight, one falls out, there is seven. Eight, one falls out, seven. There were seven in the bed and the little one said roll over. Seven, one falls out. What? How many is left? If you said six, you're right. Six. Here's seven, one falls out. Six. There were six in the bed and the little one said roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Six, one falls out. How many? Five. If you said five, you're right. Six, one falls out, there's five. There were five in the bed and the little one said roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Five, one
one falls out, how many's left? Four. If you said four, you're right. Here's five, one falls out. Four. There were five, oops, four. There were four in the bed and the little one said roll. One falls out. How many's left? Three. Three. Four. One falls out. One falls out. Three. There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Three. One falls out. There's two. Two left. Three. One falls out. Two. There were two in the bed and the little one said roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So the two, one falls out. How many's left? One, that's right. Two, one falls out. One is left. One is left, boys and girls. There were one in the bed and the little one said, a happy ending for that one because now he has the entire bed all for himself. All right, boys and girls, let's review. What are two different ways you could count down from 10 by ones counting down? Okay, the first way you could use a number line. Think of the number line starting with 10. If you take away one, you go down to nine. It's counting backwards. Then nine to eight to seven to six, five, four, three, two, one. And then zero. Or you could count down with your fingers. Start with 10. And if you're taking away one, that's nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, zero. All right, boys and girls. That's it for now. Goodbye.